Hey stars, it's me, Empress Eight Star. So let's talk about relationships. Let's talk about why does most relationships end. There are lots of reasons. A lot of it has to do with selfishness. Actually, that's the number one reason. Being selfish, not giving up self. In a relationship, you attach with someone that doesn't necessarily have the same likes and dislikes, but has the same goals in mind, wants to reach or be the same place at some point, wants the very same things or somewhat alignment with what you want in life. Now, they have to directly know exactly what they want. The problem is a lot of people say they want this and they want that, but in reality, they don't know what they want. Be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. When I say selfishness or being selfish, that's where cheating comes in. You're being selfish because you're thinking of your needs instead of the other needs of the others or the feelings of other of the other person in the relationship. Selfish meaning you not want to share responsibilities, not want to share the love, not want to share of yourself. A lot of us keep walls up. Even though we're in a relationship, we're still recovering from the last. And so we have our wall up, keeping the person out, not truly giving the 100% of love that that person deserves. Because like I said, they're afraid. Okay. Um, basically, let's talk about the things that we have stopped doing as individuals, women, where we've gotten so masculinized, independent, that we've lost ourselves as women. And so with that, we're trying, well, we've been forced in a lot of ways to be the man and the woman. But I want you to understand that once you do or you are seeking the true masculine to complete you, you have to let go of some of those, those energies that you've adapted and or um, picked up along the way because you had no choice, right? But that's where the problem lies when you finally meet a real man. You're going to run him away because he's not going to feel needed because you're able to do everything for yourself. And so you have to be mindful of this, that even though you are able to do everything yourself, he still has a part that he has to play. Everyone has their own part that has that's very important and very vital to a relationship. If I keep doing a part for him and he keeps doing it for me, then it kind of chaos, causes chaos in the relationship. There's the masculine, there's the feminine. This job said the, the masculine's job is to be the head of the household. The one to do the physical work. The one that brings home the bacon. The one that protects his wife and his family. In turn, the woman is a nurturer. She's the one that tends to the family, builds the family, builds and creates a home, a safe haven. She protects her kids. She takes care of her husband. She's making sure that his castle is where it needs to be. And that's how she contributes. Oh, that's the way it used to be. Nowadays, us women, we have to work as well. Okay, understood. But there are still needs that needs to be met for, the, for your partner. Meaning, it's nothing wrong with you coming in looking after your man and treating him like the king that he is, making him feel complete, making him feel loved and wanted and needed. Doing little things for him. Maybe you can't cook every day, but every now and again, cook his favorite meal. Clean his clothes, make sure he has clean clothes. Make sure ask him how his day was. Ask him if he's had lunch. During the day, send him a little nothing Texas saying I love you 
I miss you. Can't wait till you get home. Can't wait to see you. Little loving things like that. We're always trying to challenge our men. But we don't challenge them to be the men that they need to be. What I also notice is the more loving and caring you are as a woman is the more we attract broken men. A lot of these men are mama's boys. They don't know what it is to be a man, to be a husband, to be a father. Their mom spoiled them. Their moms let them think that all their bad behaviors was okay. It was acceptable. It was okay. They nurtured them. Every time they messed up, they hugged them and comforted them and told them it was okay, even when they were in the wrong. And so we have these men that are attracted to our nurturing and our love because they need that or they've used to getting that from their mom. And so you're the next best thing. And so you attract them and they come looking for you to comfort and love them and make them feel like everything's going to be okay when the world gets too tough. And that's okay to be nurturing and loving to your man. Help him understand that you're not his mom. And though, although I can nurture you, I cannot make you be the man that you need to be. And so most of these men that are broke are our mama's boys. They're usually broken. And so in turn, when the loving and the comforting is there, it's all good. But now when it's time to stand up and to tell this man or to advise and or get in on him on your expectations or when he's not doing bad when he's doing bad is for you to address that he doesn't want that because like I said mama always told him it was okay so now you're not telling him that his behavior was okay it's a problem you're actually expecting him to be a better man and that's a problem you're actually letting him know what your needs are. And that's now a problem. Now you're a gold digger because you want him to help you with the bills. You want him to do little nice things for you and spoil you as you should have been spoiled. But now you're a gold digger is what he's telling everyone. Woman, know your worth. Know what you deserve. Know who you are first. Know how to love you. Then, and only then, will you be able to be that partner for that individual that's needed and broken. Love you first. Don't lose you while you're in the relationship. Don't lose you loving him. If you look in the mirror and you don't even recognize yourself, or you look in the mirror and you realize you're not as happy as you should be, it's time to make changes. Emphasize star. Like, share, and subscribe.